the FIA has released the details of the crash tests required for the Halo Head Protection System, allowing Formula One teams to begin finalizing their 2018 chassis designs. At Thursday's World Motorsport Council meeting in Paris, the FIA announced the new additions to the chassis homologation process, with the Halo crash test processes defined in the new regulations. Although various details such as the halo geometry and loads expected on the chassis were supplied to teams, the FIA has been holding out and releasing details of the halo's load test, developed in consultation with the current teams on the F1 grid. Now comprising Article 17.2 and the most up-to-date set of FIA technical regulations, the rules confirm that a dummy structure must be used during the load tests in place of the actual halo design. Loads must be applied through either the application of a 150 mm pad or a spherical joint appended to the dummy halo geometry, where the regulations define the magnitude of forces which must be used during the test. Peak loads must be applied within three minutes of the test process and are maintained for five seconds, after which there must be no failure in the survival cell or in the attachment between the dummy structure and the survival cell. The FIA also ratified further changes to the 2018 rules at the WMSC, confirming a reduction in allowable power unit components and a revised set of wheel retention and chassis strength regulations.